Tanglewood Sue here with you today. We are coming at you live from the DC border in Maryland. We are going to be working with Debbie's Design Diary Paints today. And uh, you guys kind of voted and uh, the general consensus was you like me why? So that's what you get. Uh, <laughs> how are you guys? This and the hall tree are going in a guest room where the rug is kind of a faded rust with a little bit of Merlot, uh, a little bit of green. And so she wanted it kind of reds and oranges. I'm staring at that rug. I'm staring at that rug. So here's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna be using Debbie's Design Diary Paints today because they're gonna give us the, bless, the best blend. We gotta, we gotta figure out a color scheme here today. So what I'm thinking, so for those of you who know Debbie's Design Diary Paints, they are clay-based paints. Very high volume of porcelain clay in the paint. So what that means is when we spritz with water, we can reconstitute, which also means that we can reconstitute even after it's dry. So that means that today we can play, my favorite thing to do, play with these colors, blend them like this, and blend them like this. Does that make sense? Here's our dresser, here's a color, here's a color, here's a color, here's a color. We can spritz the water here. Look at me with my little puppet show. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, stop. Um, and then we can go through those colors and really get some really fun blends. Now, so let's just talk about some of the colors we're gonna play with today. Uh, Y'all know I play with all the crayons in the crayon box. So I don't expect you to have all these colors on hand but by the time we get to the end of this, we're kind of know, we're kind of auditioning these colors. All right, it's a little bit of an audition. We don't know if they're gonna turn out. Um, and the pink and the pink one, we auditioned, what did we audition? We auditioned Kiss Kiss and then we didn't use it, right? So we're gonna audition um, uh, Summer Crush, okay? So here's Summer Crush. Now this is probably the color Oh, so these work great, but sometimes you do have to re, re, uh, pop the, I'm going to pop some tags, only got $20 in my pocket. You got to re-pop the tags, okay? So we're going to put that on here. So look at these two together. Okay, Summer Crush, Cowgirl Coral. Don't be judging this. This doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. All right. Thank you that stars are enabled, but you're blocking my view of comments. Mm. Vertical. Okay. All right. So we're going to play around. This is the color of the rug. Um, I'm thinking we're going to go with some of this coral underneath. She wants gold and rust. So we're going to do that. We're going to do that. Now here's something fun. So anyway, I want to put, before we even think about red, before we even think about reds, I want to get a really good gold base going on here. Now, here's a fun thing that Debbie's design diary has been giving us. Oops, paint. Oops, paint. So basically, these are our paints that didn't quite make the cut or what have you. And I'm so excited because instead of wasting it, they're letting us have these colors to play with, okay? So... I don't have a color name for you, except, oops, it's <laughs> the best I can do, hey Molly? Um, but I would say this is pretty close to liquid sunshine, all right? And then the other color I feel like we need to put on here, as always, is Queen Bee. Because she is the queen. It's the best yellow there is, I think. It's rich, it's not, it's not a sissy yellow, it, it's, it's not a fake yellow, it's not a wussy yellow. It's a strong yellow, right? Hey Betty, it's a strong, strong yellow. All right, so this one I have, um, okay. <laughs> do as I say, not as I do. I get these FIFO bottles. Even if I have to pop the tab on this a little bit, it's still amazing because this one I didn't, and I don't know if you can see that, but it's it's filled with rust. But you know what? You guys, let's take the win. Do you know why? Because the client asked for rust. And when they ask for rust, obviously I take it literally. So 
This is Queen Bee. Queen Bee has a lot of green. She's a deep Dijon mustard. This is our Oops Yellow. All right, so we are we are we seeing are we seeing this? Hey Heather, um, uh, when you're working with Debbie's paints, again do as I say, not as I do. Put your caps back on because it'll dry out by the time you're done. Okay. Now, again, I have no idea the style we're gonna go with, but I feel like if we're gonna end up with some dark rust and some merlot. I'm feeling like I want to get a really light base and then go in darker, okay? You could do the complete opposite. We could put reds down here and then come in lighter. But this is why I'm going to start with these. Reds are hard. Reds are always hard. Reds take a lot of coverage, so let's not waste too much time. All right? So you guys ready to play with me? Um, this has already been prepped. My girl, Jonna, came in and helped me out today. We've already cleaned her with Simple Green. We've taken off the hardware because this is special hardware. I don't want to mess it up. Um, and while you're there, start thinking with me about our, our ugly color. So I don't know what our ugly color is going to be. For those of you who don't understand the term ugly color, it's the color kind of that clashes with these colors so that it, it gives it a little bit more... I don't know. I want to say like, I'm blanking on the word I, I want. Sage, not sage the color, but like rounded. It, it makes it a little bit more mature. It doesn't make it quite as bright. And it, it kind of boosts up the other colors well. Anyway, so this was one of the Oops colors that's almost like buckskin, you guys, that we love from Miss Lillian's. Um, I think this brown could be our ugly color. Other ugly color I'm considering, and I'm not saying that these are ugly colors. I'm just saying that they're the they're the pop color. Maybe a little green. All right. So I've got fancy farm girl. I've got gypsy green, and I'm even considering throwing in a little boho blue. Okay. Any questions before I slap it on? I'm using my new brush from Daydream Apothecary because this is the Maya. They're all on my website right now, you guys. Um, your belief and your work will speak for you. Oh, jeez. Mine says, she's crazy, she's crazy, she's crazy. Mine says, don't stand too close. Um, so I'm just going to get started. I don't know what kind of blend I want. I just don't know what kind of blend I want. So when I don't know, we just do. Right? Right. I'm happy to answer. Start slapping. Okay. Dunk it in. Dunk it in. Uh, you guys know I like to start up front down. And I got to tell you, I'm so glad I did that on our last piece. I really am. Because I did my little checks. If y'all saw that video, I did my little check. And I was like, I am so excited to do this little check knowing that I've already painted the underneath. I've already done that. Ready? I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go right in. I'm just, y'all know I don't clean up the brush. Cause, that's funny. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna go right in with the cowgirl curl just to see what happens with these two colors together. Keep in mind, I am under fluorescent lights. Um, I try to turn the color temperature down a little bit. Uh, with the lights here, but, um, there's just not a whole lot I can do about it, these fluorescents. Okay, I gotta say that Queen Bee and Cover Coral make kind of a perfect pale coral. Um, are you seeing this? Are you seeing it? Debbie's dries super duper fast. So I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna put a little bit more in here. Let's just see. I always love, I don't know why, I just always love this part. I don't always end up with that for the look. But this is a very mission style dresser, which may, which may mean that I actually do end up going up and down side to side. Look, see it's already like getting dry. So if you're working with Debbie's paint and it's drying faster than you want, just get your mister. Get your, get your mister. 
and that will help you go through and get that on there. Let's keep going. And I might bring in some more colors. Yeah, I just don't find Summer Crush to be very summery. It's a very fall, it's a very fall-like color to me. Has anybody tried, like if you're like, oh my God, this is totally working. All right, let's get all this down and then we'll, we'll, we'll audition and then we'll, we will audition some pop colors. Oh, I like this. I like this, uh, this yellow a lot. This yellow has a lot of red in it. Whereas um, you can see here, Queen B is so green compared to this other yellow. But this is Debbie's Design Diary Paint. What makes it unique is that it is such a high clay content, more than any other uh, chalk paint or clay paint. Um, Daydream Apothecary is also high in clay, but not in my experience as high as DIY paint. Um, it's kind of a balance in between. So DIY paint is like painting with mud. It's like painting with colored mud. You'd be like, why would I want to do that? This is why. Look, I'm already dry, which means, but if I want to, I can spray it and re-wet it, and I can even like wipe it back off or keep blending it. So I'm blending this in again. So you're not done until you're done. It also has a, a texture and a thickness that's just really, um, that just really, I don't know. I Whenever I'm given something that's oak or an older piece, um, I always, I go to Debbie's because it's just, it's just more like working almost like with a milk paint. It just feels more natural to the piece for me. All right, this is an oops color. I don't think it's going to be dark enough, but it's just like a, it's just like an oops um, khaki. Let's just see what happens if we put on this oops khaki, just to give it a little bit of depth. I kind of like it, you guys. I kind of like it. Should we try just a little bit of um, bohemian blue? Let's try it. Just to see what that does. Now, bohemian blue, has a ton of green in it. Hi, Peggy. So let's just see what happens with just, it's such a strong color. Woohoo! I mean, I mean, hmm. I like it. I don't think it's, I don't think it's the, I think it's gonna be, I don't think it's the right blend for this piece, just based on what my client wants. But I think we need to remember this color. Let me just tone it out a little bit. I don't know, but this is also the stage where I send my client a picture, because what they say they want isn't always exactly what they want. Yeah, no, I mean, it looks totally green. It doesn't look blue at all. But keep in mind that I'm putting a blue green on top of a wet paint of a wet yellow, so it's gonna turn green, okay? If this were dry and I put it on, uh, and I also put it on with a clean brush, so here it's dry, it's not gonna, it's not gonna turn, it's not gonna turn as green, it's gonna stay more blue. So, I kinda like that. Here's, here's what we need to test. She does want like some, some reds in there. I mean, she wants it to have some dark rust and red. So let's put a little in. I don't usually like to use, this is Marquis. I don't usually like to use, yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, hold on, I gotta bang this on the floor. I don't like to use uh, reds and blues together. I don't know why. They just don't speak to me. They don't. I don't dig it. So if I, if this is gonna end up with some reds, I probably won't also do the Bohemian Blue. So right now what I'm gonna do is I'm putting a little bit of Marquee into Summer Crush. Mix that up a little. So I get something that's more rust, more rust-like. Let's 
See, if you ignore the blue, I think that's actually more of where she's going. So I'm feeling the rest, the yellow, the bohemian blue, but not on its own, only mixed in with the yellow. What are you guys feeling? What are y'all feeling? And I don't care that this is the front of the piece because this is just my base layer. You would not know which amber. Oh, fire starter. Yes, 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 yes. I'm gonna kind of, that blue is throwing me. I need to cover the blue. I'm not, it's not working for my brain. I like a little bit of green. I like a little bit of the green, but I don't like, I'm not digging where it's going. I'm gonna put that khaki on there. It, my brain needs to kind of cover it up a little bit. Let me stand back. Yeah. I don't even know if we're gonna need, this is like the Merlot that she wanted. I'm looking to see if I just have another orange available. I do, but not in that. I have an orange available from Miss Lillian's, but you guys, I would not use Miss Lillian's and Debbie's paint together because they're gonna dry at different rates. So let's just keep going here. I think what I'll do is maybe mix Queen Bee and Marquee a little bit. Let's see where we end up. Oh, that's good. So that's Queen Bee, so this is what, I, what my tray ends up looking like. But Queen Bee and Marquee, that gets me a really nice rust. I like that. So right now, I just wanna get coverage. I just want every part of it covered. Get in all these nooks and crannies. We're not gonna do the final blend until we flip this baby right side up again. But I'm feeling like this Queen Bee is really speaking to me. I think the Queen, you know what I think you guys, I think the Queen Bee is gonna really be our, more of our pop color. You know what I mean? That's just really pulling it all together for me. I love Queen Bee. I love you Queen Bee. All right, I, what I want to do is show you guys a little mist. Do you see the difference there? So we've just got one coat on. We're going to go in and put the second coat on today. But I want you to see what happens when you go over the chalk. And sometimes when you're going on that second coat, it's a good idea to get it a little bit wet. Otherwise, it's just chalk going on top of chalk. Imagine like two chalk pieces like... <laughs> Now we're gonna go in and try to get some darker tones going on. So what, I, what I'm playing with is, um, oh, Susie, where'd you put it? There it is. I found the fire starter. We're gonna have a little fire starter in here, okay? Sometimes your paint might be a little bit more like pudding. That's okay. It is all right. So fire starter, carnival red, and a little bit, just a little bit of Oh my god, I'm looking at Cherry picked. Ah, I need a teleprompter. Can y'all imagine if I had a teleprompter? I would like totally ignore it. Alright, so we got a little bit of these colors here. Let's start auditioning. Let's start auditioning. Hi Laura. Oh yes, my infamous, my infamous chair, my infamous chair. All right, so let's just start putting, I wanna put a little bit of fire starter just right on here. I just wanna see what we get. So I'm putting, I can set that right up there. Y'all, we all remind me where it is when I ask you in five seconds where it is. She doesn't want orange, but I wanna put a little bit of this on here. It's kind of a wash. And then let's dip into the carnival red because she wants rust. I think that's gonna, that's more orange than rust, right? It's more orange. So this is where we're gonna get that cherry picked in there. Ooh, look at me, I just threw it on. I just threw it on. 
I kind of want to see that color. That's a little too much. That's a little, I think that's a little too dark. Yes, we went too dark. That's okay. That's okay. I wanted to kind of see, I think that's actually exactly the right color, but we don't want that much on there. So I'm kind of pulling it back off again. And that's the beauty of this paint, you guys. We have plenty of time. We have plenty of time to wipe this off, try again, get another brush. Um, I could even use a rag if I wanted to, but I kind of want to just keep, I just kind of want to see what happens if I keep spraying the water. See, I'm kind of digging it. And just using it like a wash almost on top. Mm, yeah, you're May. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I don't think I'm loving it, but I now know what color I'm going to get when I mix those three to kind of get that. Like if I were still using, if I were still using uh, Dixie Belle, which I'm not, but if I was, it would be the muscadine color. It would be the muscadine. So let's go back in a little bit more of the red. I think what we need to do is just goes, go with the reds and the oranges for the next layer, and then we'll come in dark on the very top. I think that's what we'll need to do. So I think I'm just going to layer up. I think what I'm going to do is kind of layer up where we were with the yellows. I'm going to use that yellow that Debbie gave us. Don't y'all think that's too dark? Oh, I thought you said, hey, better. <laughs> hey, Carrie. All right. I didn't give myself enough space in front here to work. If that's a problem. Um, I'll figure it out. Though. I'll figure it out. So again, you guys can see I'm just kind of dipping and playing and dipping and playing. And I'm okay if these colors mush up a little bit. I really am. All right. So you guys, I was trying to figure out how to, um, Oh, I like that. Kind of like, I don't usually go with the back and forth, but I don't know, I'm kind of liking that a little bit. I was trying to figure out a schedule for, uh, Sadie's studying for the SAT, so it was kind of apropos, because I was trying to figure out a schedule for how to deliver the blog posts every other week and be finishing one project while working on the next. It is a, y'all, it is a complicated equation. I just have to tell you, it is a complicated equation to do that. I like, I had it, I had to write it out like four or five times on a blackboard with slots going across. So basically every, I don't want to hurt your brain, okay? I really don't. Yes, I do. I want you guys to feel my pain. Um, every... Every project, like if this was a project, okay, right here, it's going to get basically three weeks. So there's the prep, the paint, the script, all of that. But at the second week, the second week, the next, sorry. Okay, hopefully that didn't. I like that. I've kind of got three different stories going here, but I'm auditioning. I'm okay with the three different stories. Um, now, when you're working with Debbie's, you guys, it can start getting, when you're going with that second coat, because the bottom coat is very dry, all right, um, it may start kind of being a little harder to blend, okay? I just want to tell you that. I just want to be honest with you. That's why I just really think having the water bottle on the second coat is like really, really important. Otherwise, you're gonna get frustrated. You're gonna be like, it's not, it's not moving across. And the other thing I like to do is like, don't look at these as two separate, as two separate pieces. 
You know what I mean? There we go. And I might have to go back because I'm painting this on here. Yes, I will probably have to go back in and do a little scraping on the sides, but that's okay. Okay, are we are we digging it? Are y'all feeling it? See how we're getting a little bit darker? But it's still a, it's still orangey. It's still a pop. It's still a pop. We won't go too dark until we get to the last layer. But anyway, um, I had this thing all laid out, and Sadie comes in and she's like, "Oh my God, Mom, you're doing algebra." I'm like I'm trying to schedule my deliverables is algebra. God, I should pay attention. She's studying for the SATs. All right, there we go. I'm really liking the golds and the oranges a lot. Orangey colors in the yellow. <laughs> you have a pathological distaste of yellow. Yeah, I, I don't usually choose yellow. I just don't, and I don't know why. It's just, I don't know why. This doesn't seem usually strong enough for what I want, but I do love liquid sunshine. I think in the end we'll do a little pop of liquid sunshine. I do love that. Now, I feel like while we're here, we should be putting in, remember how we put in a little bit of that, um, We have gypsy green, but I don't think that's going to be dark enough. Let's put in a little, little, little bit of this. Um, kind of looks like buckskin. There's no name for it. It's like it's a khaki. It's like an army brown khaki. Let's put a little bit of that in. It feels like it's not going to be dark enough, but then look at that. It really is, isn't it? It's plenty dark. It's plenty dark. Okay. Now I got a little bit of oil on the front because I was putting so much oil on the drawers. So I'm a little nervous about that. Hold on, I'm looking. Okay. So I'm liking how this is kind of greeny gold and that's kind of orangey. Like sometimes you just gotta step back and go, hold on, hold on. Do y'all kind of like that? Like it's just not all the same. Oh, you know what color I forgot to put on here? How could I forget my one true love? Where is Queen Bee? Queen Bee, where are you? Oh, I put her in a different, I put her in a different, um, that's what I'm missing. I'm missing that greeny gold color. Why didn't y'all tell me? But I'm liking the I'm liking the the disparate colors there. I wouldn't have chosen that, but I like it. Khaki buckskin, the baby poop. Exactly. You like the orangey tones? What do y'all think about? I might have to like just send this to the client and see what she thinks. Hold on, my um. I have everything at the ready. These are, uh, I made a video on how to use these today. They just save everything. I feel like this isn't uh, Queen Bee though. I feel like this is liquid sunshine. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna see what happens. If we kind of do exactly what we're doing there, but adding in a little bit more of Queen B as we go. Now, I should have also raised up these legs. Um, it was on rollers. It was on rollers. And then I took the rollers off and then forgot that now it would be right on the ground. But that's okay. This is just an old um, tablecloth. I would also say to you guys, if you are experimenting yourselves 
and you are trying to figure out like getting your look. Have you ever like done something and you really like it and then um, you keep going and then you lost it? It's like, what happened? I, I ruined it. No, you didn't ruin it. I sometimes like to have the camera on even in time lapse because there are times where the balance was just right but I, I needed to get a little more coverage or I was getting a little slap happy. I don't know what, I don't know what. But there are times where for whatever reason, I, I went over what was working. Like right now, like this doesn't have enough paint on it. A little legit does not have enough paint. Like it's only got one coat, but I'm really loving the whole color story. Even this little, Bit of bohemian blue there so I'm just uh, I just think it's a really good idea to film yourself because what you can do if you feel like oh I had it and then it's gone is to just roll back the tape my friends roll back the tape see where it was see what it was that had you go oh that was it because I think that's a lot of our fear in in creating I know it's mine that if I'll, uh, there are just these fleeting moments where the, the blend is exactly where I need it to be. And then I have to go fix something else, but then I've messed up that one thing that I really love. And this is really messy for me, but I, I, I'm feeling good about it. I'm feeling good about the mess. It's like, it's like, a, isn't it like a really pretty mess? I think we can, um, here's the thing. It's a little bit more slap happy than I would normally do. Um, but I like the bold delineations between the colors. It's very different than the one we just did with the pink where it was like just very subtle, subtle, subtle shifts. But I think that leaving a little bit more kind of a crazy pattern going on and then toning the whole thing down with either watered down paint or a glaze but it really just comes down to what the client likes. The client's like, that's awesome. Then, then we'll probably, I mean, it's got two coats on right now. I usually like to do three, but um, a glaze of another color would probably be plenty. And I do plan on really doing some serious distressing along the edges of this one. This one's very dark, very dark wood. Um, and I think because it's older and it's really beautiful, dark, dark, dark wood, that I'm really going to kick back a lot of the wood showing through here. Um, and so in that case, you know, I don't know how many, how many coats of the paint we need. Also, um, just be careful when you're doing, if you're only going to do two coats of Debbie's though, do a test where you put your wax or your top coat because sometimes it looks like we've got full coverage. And then if you spritz it with water or you put the wax or the top coat on, it, it goes right through. And you're like, whoops. It's kind of like you got that new bathing suit and you thought it had the proper lining and you're like, I know, I haven't worn like a white bathing suit in a long time, but it's, it's fine, it's really thick. And then you get out of the ocean. <sighs> that didn't happen to me. I don't think I ever, ever in my entire life was confident enough in my body to wear a white bathing suit. I don't think, and I used to be, I mean, skinny. And even then, not a chance, not a chance. Y'all, this was an accident. I didn't, I don't, I haven't worn this shirt in forever. I don't know, hi Evelyn. Uh, I don't know what made me put it on. It was a little chilly outside and it is long and it covers everything and it's kind of a mess. But this is the color actually that the client has asked for. Uh, kind of a, 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 a Merlot, a Cabernet, maybe with a little bit more blue tone. So we did this with Debbie's Design Diary just to catch anybody up. Let me see if I have any comments. Oh, <laughs> hello, welcome darling. All right, if you're new to Debbie's Design Diary paints, let me, I'm, I'm sorry if you're not new. I'm just, I'll be really quick. I'll be really, really quick. They reconstitute with water. Okay. So 
these are the paints that we've used. We've done kind of a fun blend. We put in a little bohemian blue to add a little bit of green. We've put in, a, what do we use? Fire starter, and we've used a custom mix, and we've used Queen Bee, and we've used Marquee, just to get kind of this flow going. But today, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put on a wash of the color that she's asked for. Okay, so this is kind of how we're working on this piece. It's kind of an experiment. I haven't done it this way before. Normally I'm working with that main color and other colors and we're kind of blending, 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 blending as we go. But this time I was like, no, I want to see these colors peek through. So number one, this will reconstitute with water. Okay, so I'm glad we've waited a couple days because here's the thing, just like clay, imagine if you just you just put your clay mask on and then you just put water on it's going to come right off right but let's say you put that clay mask on and you left it for four days i don't recommend that you do that i'm just thinking out loud here um you're gonna have to keep putting water and putting water and putting water you might have to go to the er at that point i'm just gonna be honest with you but primarily what i'm saying is that clay has gotten very hard now here's the thing it will come off right? It's not acrylic. It's not latex. It's not oil. It will come off with water, but it'll take a little longer. Same with the furniture. Same with the furniture. I like that this is hard clay right now because I don't want it to come off too easily. Are y'all with me now? Betty is here. Pam is here. First, we're going to make the color that we're thinking of. Now, I have a little secret that I figured out. I have a little secret that I figured out today. Um, Debbie's does not have a Merlot or a Cabernet, okay? Now, Miss Lillian's does, uh, but I don't want to use Miss Lillian's on DIY paint. They're kind, they're not oil and water, but I'm not going to... I'm not gonna know that I'm getting the blend that I want, okay? Because this is a chalk, it lightens up, highly absorbent, it's gonna get much darker and then lighten up again, whereas Miss Lillian's is closer to a chalk or even a latex paint. It's not a latex paint, but it's just closer, let's just call it more like acrylic. Um, and it goes on, what you see is what you get. So it's two different things. So I've been playing around with blending colors together to get a Merlot effect. Now, I don't have a degree in color theory. Um, it took me until I was 50 to realize that you mix, this might blow your mind, if you're new here, um, if you want to get um, olive green, black, and yellow. What? Try it. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. You think you're just gonna get a dulled out green. But I mean, or it's or, or a dulled out yellow. You get it's like this whole other color emerged. There's no blue at all. Things blow my mind. All right, so what do we have here? Okay, this is marquee. This I know it's ugly, but this is you know it's okay. This is mermaid tail, and then I have. Let me just get over here kissing booth. So what I do is I kind of go up the sides and I practice and I practice and I practice until I get the color that speaks to me. But y'all, here's something. Hey, Melissa. Hey, Shaz. Hey, Kat. Y'all, Melissa, did you know this? Okay. Which one of these is Kissing Booth? I mean, um, which one of these is um, Cherry Picked? Can y'all tell? Is it this one or this one? Oh, shit. I don't remember. That's my point. I made Cherry Picked today. Y'all, I know, I'm the worst retailer ever. I mean, I'm the best retailer. You should shop with me because I'm gonna save you money. <laughs> and you're like, Sue, why would, I, why would I wanna buy two colors to make one color? I'm just saying that you can make so many of the colors in between the colors that if I'm out of a color or you, you're not sure, of, you want like these five colors, I'm gonna teach you how to get those five colors by just getting three colors, okay? Because it's all in the mixing. So basically, I was trying to get my Merlot, which I got here, and I got my Merlot by mixing Marquee with Kissing Booth and just a teeny tiny bit of uh, a, a, a Bohemian Blue, okay? I got it. 
that's it. That's what we're going to work with. But then I realized that if you mix, hold on, let me make sure I remember. If you mix the Bohemian, is it the Bohemian blue? I think so. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I think I just did this five minutes ago. Bohemian blue. And I think it's, yeah. Yeah, that's it. Bohemian blue. Bohemian blue. And kissing booth. So what I want to do is get some of this Merlot on here, all right? Uh, so I'm basically just dipping in here with the Marquee, okay? And then let's get a bunch of that on there. And then I want a little bit of the Bohemian Blue. See how that kind of darkens that down? There we go. Getting close. And then it's the Kissing Booth that kind of brings it home. Kind of makes it even more, see how that's brightening that up? So I just keep playing until I get the color that I'm going for. I just keep, sorry, there's so much reflection on that. There we go, see that? There we go. And on these, these colors here, they just work really well together to kind of get you that tone. What I'm gonna do next, and what I've already kind of started doing across the piece, is we're gonna wet it down. And we kind of need to wet it down a fair amount, you guys, a fair amount. Because we wanna create almost like a glaze, almost like a glaze. We gotta do this kind of, kind of carefully. I think what we should do, so we don't have too many drips, so I can kind of show you what's happening, is going down the bottom here. So. Use, and then we're gonna do some waxing. We're gonna wax. We're gonna wax our dress today. I know, <laughs> I love being bad. Okay, so uh, don't use a sprayer, use a mister, okay? Use a mister because we are just, we just wanna go really lightly, really lightly. Um, okay, so I have a little bit on my brush, just the tiniest little bit, okay? And I'm just, don't freak out! Don't freak out. I'm just kind of going over it. and But I want to make sure it's wet enough that I can spread it. And if I feel like I got too much, this is where these little paddle brushes actually come in handy. So we can really move that around. Now, I'm not scared right now. I mean, I'm scared of a lot of things, like freaking World War III. Um, but I'm not scared of necessarily pulling up my colors because like I said, it's pretty dry. It's gonna take a fair amount for me to bring these colors back so strongly. Okay, but I just, I'm just going really, really soft. I've almost got too much on my brush, so I'm gonna kind of just let it flow. I'm not gonna, I don't wanna load any more up on my brush, but I'm gonna go up and down. I'm gonna go side to side. I'm gonna try not to go over where I've already gone. And I wanna try to get in those little nooks and crannies too. Is that making sense? Are you guys, are you guys seeing my vision? I think, um, and I know sometimes it's shocking. You're like, wait, 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 it looked good with the golds and the yellows, but that looked good. Like, believe me, I mean, I kind of feel that way too. But this is how you make this is how you make it cool. This is how you blend these colors together. Now, if you do want these goals to kind of come up, like I said, grab a dry brush, a really soft dry brush, okay? And y'all know I don't like to see lines, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna kind of wipe this out. And, and, if this is too heavy, which I don't think it is, but if it is, the beauty is that A, we can pull it back, or I think it's gonna be even cooler is if we sand it back. All right, so I wanna kind of go a little heavier around the edges. I don't want it even, you know? I don't want it even. But I'm using so little paint, kiddos, so little paint. I'm gonna go a little, how about that? I have to kind of stand back and see this. And I don't, I'm going fast. 
And I'm using lots of brushes because I don't, and I'm kind of wiping it off here, because I don't want it, this is not a blend. We are not going for a blend. I mean, we're blending the top layer, but we don't want it to, we don't want it to reactivate. All right, but let's see here. I'm gonna put a little bit, see how dark that is? Let's just put a little bit of wax. Now, does this mean I can't go back and change anything? Yes and no. Yes and no. I'm not gonna do too much in case I'm unhappy with it, um, but that's also why I'm kind of going in a fairly inconspicuous area. I'm not doing this right on the front. So let's get our wax in there, just up here. Okay, so that's a little bit closer to how this is gonna look. I just finished the live, putting on the darker tone. Watch my last video if you missed it. And I know it kind of looks exactly the same, doesn't it? But just wait, watch. This is it dry, but this is closer to what it's really gonna look like. And this is before the wax. And now let me show you what it looks like after we put on the wax. All right, here's just a little bit of the clear wax. See how that goes on and darkens it up really nicely. It'll lighten back up again, but this is the next step. And then once this dries, I'm going back in with some metallic waxes around the edges. I'll save that for the next video. Stay tuned. Check her out, kiddos. I'm very pleased. I'm very pleased with um, what the the uh, the result of what the client has asked for. So here's what the client asked for, right? And um, and then here's the Tango and Sue. Woo, 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 woo. And then we go on the other side and we get what they asked for, but it's been tangled with suit. Uh, so this has been waxed, okay? What I've done is we put, uh, before I put the wax on, I did a little bit of the magic that you can do only in this world, I feel like, with Debbie's Design Diary paints, which we've used here, and I've also been able to do it with Daydream Apothecary paints, and that is the act of spritzing with a little water, reactivating, and pulling back the colors underneath. All right, fellow furniture painters, for those of you following along, we've got the golden coat on with Debbie's Design Diary paints. Then we put a wash of kind of a darker Merlot. Here, let me help you kind of see that. Okay, now before we put wax over the whole thing and darken it even more, I kind of want to play a little push me pull you with these paints. And this is why they're so fun and so amazing. They're based with clay, okay? They're clay-based paints. It's like playing in the mud, but you can reconstitute them with water, okay? Here. You already saw me do a little mist of the water, so you can see this is dried clay-based paint, and this is it with a little bit of water on top. Now that the water's here, it's reactivating with the paint, so I can make some magic happen. So you can either use a towel, you can use a little scrubby sponge, you can use a sanding sponge, or you can even use some chippy paintbrushes. You just need a little bit of pressure. So let's start light and see how well it's doing. So while it's wet, this is called wet distressing, but it's different with Debbie's paint because this won't necessarily take you all the way back to the wood. It'll let you take it back to the layer underneath. All right, you don't need to use wax. You don't need to use candle wax or soap or anything like that. Do you see that? See, I'm getting the yellow back from being really gentle. Now, I actually like a little bit of distressing around the edges. So I am gonna take a little sanding block and go right here. Now, can you do this when it's dry? You can, but it's gonna be dusty. So this is really getting down. See how I'm getting to the gold, but I'm also getting back to the wood. It just frames it. It's just gonna make it look so much more realistic, more natural. Because y'all know I'm all about natural. Everything should just be, you know, natural looking. Yeah, I know. All right, so now that I've got it a little wet, I don't have to just do it around the edges. I can do it in the middle, really lightly, really softly. Like I said, use brushes and just kind of play around with all those layers that you already built up. That's what's so exciting. It's like, it's like excavating. And if you go too far, you can just put some back on, okay? Okay, I know, my videos are a little bit on the long side. It's not just a bunch of time lapses and you don't get to see necessarily the entire beginning to end in 15 seconds. You know why? Because I'm here, because I'm here to teach you. I'm not just here to show you. 
I want you to learn what I'm doing. I want you to have fun with what I'm doing. I want you to know the supplies and exactly step-by-step. Step. And then at the end, we're gonna pull it all together. So if you enjoy this, please follow me. Let me know. Okay, so I did some of that and I pulled back some of these golds around the corner. I brought out, do you see how it's kind of outlined there? That's the beauty of the clay-based paints. If you haven't worked with Debbie's Design Diary before, is that with other paints, um, Miss Lillian's, Annie Sloan, all these other paints, and they're all great paints, but if you want to pull back one layer from the other, you really can't. They're, they're married, they're married. Once you put this color on this color, they are forever intertwined, and you can't pull one off the other unless you put a slip coat in between them, such as Vaseline, wax, uh, candle wax, soap. Um, it's called a resist layer. So if you put a layer and then you put a resist layer and then you put another layer, then you can take off those spots and get that distressed feeling. The way I look at this, you guys, was because we put so many layers on, I was able, it's kind of like that game where you just don't know what's gonna be underneath. Like I just wet it a little bit and I was like, oh, I'm getting a little gold. I didn't remember I put gold there. Just, it's, it's like little packages just opening up and surprising you, it was so fun. And then as I was kind of pulling back wet, I was able to get all these golds underneath where it really came through was it got a little heavy here. So I wet it down just a little bit and then I started sanding and then I got to that um, queen bee again. It was like, hi queen bee, I didn't even know you were back there. So this is what you're able to do with that wet distress. Now, I put on all of the wax, okay? But that doesn't mean I have to be done. I'm just saying that even with the wax on, you can go back. I love these because they're, these are the uh, scotch Bright. I do sell them in my store, but you can get them from my Amazon shop or you can buy them yourself for darn sake. Um, but what I like to do is while I'm buffing, if I put a little bit extra pressure and see those ridges, that's the paint ridges. So people sometimes complain that Debbie's Design Diary um, isn't a smooth paint and I would have to say you're right it doesn't mean you can't get it smooth but you have to sand between layers I personally love these ridges because what happens is when you buff it so I'm not pushing on enough pressure to take anything off right now I'm just buffing all these little ridges start showing and give it even more depth that's it you guys that's how we got the whole base layer on and got all the wax put on I'm really thrilled with how it turned out the only other things I did was I played around with some hardware and I also added some highlights and some lowlights using some metallic wax that I'd love to tell you all about. So check it out in my blog and thanks again for watching the show.